We have some breaking news for you now on the special counsel's 2020 election subversion case against former President Donald Trump. The Justice Department prosecutors are making some new allegations this afternoon about Trump's public statements. Let's get straight to CNN Justice correspondent Jessica Schneider. Jessica? Yeah, Jake, I mean, the prosecutors here are saying quite simply that Donald Trump's public statements have led to the intimidation and harassment of witnesses. Now, this is all contained in an opinion that was just released from the judge overseeing the D.C. case, Judge Tanya Chutkin. This all relates to prosecutors wanting to file a motion asking Judge Chutkin to do something about the former president's comments and supposed intimidation and threats against these witnesses. We don't know exactly what, but Judge Chutkin has ruled here today that all of the witnesses mentioned as having received some of this intimidation, any of these threats, their names can continue to be uh, redacted away from public view. One of the things she says is that all of these individuals who are mentioned by the prosecutors, they have already experienced harassment and threats due to publication of their information and the possibility of that happening again risks witness intimidation including of other witnesses not identified in this motion so you know there's a few holes in this opinion we're not getting all of the details but what we do know is that Donald Trump has repeatedly continued to speak out tweet say things about people involved in that DC election case the federal case going on right here in Washington and now prosecutors are saying that maybe some of the people who he's talked about they have received threats they have been intimidated and now prosecutors Prosecutors are asking the judge to make some kind of decision here regarding those threats. Decision here regarding those threats. So, Jake, I mean, it's it's um, notable here that prosecutors are saying, you know, Donald Trump's words over the past several weeks, even though the judge in this case has told him not to make any public statements about this case, those words not only has he made uh, those comments, but they have affected numerous witnesses as we're getting a look at here. We don't know exactly who, and we don't know exactly what statements have led to those intimidations. And, and threats, but uh, significant news and um, accusations coming from the prosecutor's office. Interesting. Jessica Schneider, thanks so much. Let's bring in Tom Dupree. He was a principal deputy assistant attorney general for the George W. Bush administration. Tom, what do you, what do you make of this, uh, this filing? Well, first, it doesn't surprise me that that's the result on witnesses. I mean, the president has been outspoken. He has attacked judges, witnesses, everyone under the sun uh, through his public statements and social media. What will be interesting here, Jake, is what the judge does about it. We've seen so far from the way she runs her courtroom is she is committed to preserving the integrity of the judicial process. She wants to make sure the jury pool stays protected. She wants to make sure witnesses stay protected. I would expect she'll take this very seriously and that she may either admonish the president, she may instruct his lawyers to direct their client to knock it off. Um, I mean, in extreme cases, she can impose things like a gag order. She can even do things like revoke bail. So she has a menu of options open to her, and I suspect she'll start at the lower end to see if that will coerce his compliance and then gradually work her way up if that doesn't work. You know, what's so interesting about this is um, this comes right after uh, Senator Mitt Romney uh, announced he's not running for re-election. And in an excerpt of his book about Romney that was published in The Atlantic, uh, McKay Coppins has a section where Romney is recalling members of the House and Senate saying they're not going to vote to impeach or to convict Donald Trump after the insurrection uh, because they are afraid of what will happen to them or their families. In other words, intimidation from Trump works. Well, that may be the lesson that he's drawn from this. I mean, in the past, he's been very aggressive uh, going after everyone, political enemies, the media, citizens, uh, through these comments. They work. They can cause people to change their behavior. They can silence people. But it's a different world now when you're in court. In other words, it's one thing to make those comments in the context of a political campaign or the political fray. It's another thing to make it when you are a criminal defendant and you are making comments about witnesses who are poised to testify against you. Uh, Judge uh, Chutkin previously said any inflammatory statements could speed up the trial as well. You think that she might do that as well? Absolutely. I mean, if she thinks that there are witnesses out there who are getting scared or intimidated from testifying because of these comments, she may say, look, we need to move this thing up. Let's move it up a few months. So he, he's, it's a risky business. I mean, he's playing with fire to some extent making these comments because I don't think this is a judge who's going to stand for a lot of this stuff.